Hello everyone, my name is Mr. N Jersey and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are back with another build challenge. Now, we're going to be covering most of the details in this video. However, all of the details and rules will be available and also you'll be able to put your entry through on my Discord server. So if you haven't already joined, be sure to join. The link is in the video description. Now, before we get started with this challenge video, if you are enjoying these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe button and make the little bell icon to be notified my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted and while you're watching let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you'd like to see maybe in some upcoming challenges here on my channel so that all said let's get straight into it and get started with this challenge so it's that time again for another challenge here on my channel now this time around we've got something a little bit unusual and a little bit different this time i'm actually going to be tasking you with a mission that you're going to have to be building a vehicle for this time around, actually what you're going to be doing is you're going to be moving a container onto a cargo ship here. So we've kind of simulated a cargo ship here at the Creative Island. As you can see, we've got the cargo ship right next to the port, and it's also got two fuel containers on top of it, and there's one last one that needs to get on there. Now, you might think, oh, well, that's pretty simple. We can just go and do something quite nice, like a crane or something. Well, this is where it's going to get a little bit challenging. The first thing is that the rules are going to state that it has to be a land vehicle. This can't be a helicopter, this can't be a plane, it can't be a drone, it can't be a boat. It has to be a land vehicle. With that, it also has to be able to move around. So it's not going to be a static vehicle, meaning you're either going to need tires or tracks for your creation. I think, oh great, well I can just build a crane in one of the huge build areas. Well, that comes into the next part. Your creation has to be built within the aircraft hangar. Yes, that is correct. You are now limited to the size of the aircraft hangar. Now, of course, you are not allowed to modify that build area. You can't make it any bigger. Along with that, you can't use any modded pieces. This includes modded engines, modded blocks. The only thing that always I allow is you can use modded windows. Besides that, everything else needs to be standard Stormworks game components. Along with that, uh, the vehicle itself obviously is going to be now a land vehicle with tires or tracks. It's going to be moving around. It needs to have as little hinges or pivots as possible. So as little bodies as possible. I don't want to see 1 million because obviously the more you add, the more lag you get here in game. Along with that, it also needs to be either diesel or electric powered. I will not accept any creations that are using jets here. And going on to the last rule of this challenge is that your creation must be able to lift this container onto that cargo ship by itself. It can't have any support from any other items. You can't go and lean up against the cargo ship here. You can't use another creation to support it. It has to be one creation that you're going to be using to move it up, across, and then down onto it. Now, I've actually built up this mission. Everything's in here. You've got obviously the fuel containers, the cargo ship, and it's actually built as a mission. So you'll notice that if you go over to your missions here and you go and activate your missions, you'll notice that we have this and you can see we have the actual container that we need to move into the zone over here. Once you get that in, you obviously get a mission completed bonus and then you know that your vehicle is ready to upload for this challenge. Now I'm giving you two weeks to build your vehicle for this challenge. The challenge will be ending in two weeks on Saturday. And of course we'll do the normal where we'll go through the voting and we'll also go and put the top 10 most voted for creations into a final video where they'll be going head to head. Now, if you haven't already joined my Discord server, be sure to join it. Obviously, all the rules will be posted on there and you'll also be submitting your creation on my Discord server. If you're looking for a link to join Discord server, it's in the video description below. So be sure to join that. So that's it. If you willing to obviously accept this challenge, I am very excited to see what everyone's going to be building. I think this one's a little bit more of a mind bending kind of challenge, which I think is a little bit more interesting. I'm really excited to see what you guys are going to be coming up with this for this challenge. But with that all said, I hope you have enjoyed this and found it entertaining and informative as always. And I'll see your creations in two weeks time.